After completing this lesson, you should be able to explain when to use a script task and write records smart service, and recall the steps for configuring both. In this lesson, you'll learn how to add two additional nodes to the process, a script task and a write records smart service. A script task allows you to perform an automated activity. Typically, this involves using an expression or rule to manipulate and query data or evaluate a decision to determine how the process will progress. In the new vehicle process model, I want to capture two variables, the vehicle last modified date and the vehicle added by. I'll use a script task to capture this metadata because I don't want the registrar to type it into the form manually. Script tasks are located under Workflow, Activities. I'll add this node to the right of the Review Vehicle node and relabel it to store additional values. Typically, script tasks are configured using node outputs located under the Data tab. I'll start by adding a new custom output to capture the current date as the last modified date. I'll click the Expression Editor icon and type Today. I'll keep the default operator, is stored as, and then use the drop down menu to save the output into the correct process variable, vehicle last modified date. Next, I'll add another custom output to capture the name of the Acme Automobile Registrar who initiates adding a vehicle to the fleet. In the expression editor, I'll type PP Bang Initiator. This is a process property that Appian uses to store information about the user who initiates the process. If you want to see or use other process properties or variables, you can review and select options using the Data tab in the Expression Editor. Note that I'll store this output using the process variable vehicle added by. I'll also quickly reconnect the exception flow to this node. If the supervisor doesn't approve the vehicle on time, I want the process to skip directly to this step, record all vehicle data, and then end. Now is a good time to pause and debug this process model since I just added another node. I'll double check that the variables tab now contains the values for the previously empty variables, vehicle date added and vehicle added by. Success! I can see that all desired data has been recorded. Although I am skipping steps for the sake of my demo, make sure that you debug thoroughly when you work on a real life project. Before I show you how to use a smart service, Let's quickly add another XOR gateway to this process. If you recall, the supervisor's approve vehicle form contains the reject and approve buttons. To account for this workflow, I'll add an XOR gateway after the review vehicle node. I won't walk through the steps again, but once configured, if the supervisor approves the vehicle, the process will continue to the store additional values script task. If she rejects it, the process will end. The last node to add to this process is the Write Records Smart Service. Without this node, the data we've captured will only exist in the process. The Write Records and Delete Records Smart Services allow you to add, update, or delete data in the database table associated with your record type, and then automatically sync all changes in Appian. Keep in mind that the Write Records and Delete Records Smart Services can only be used with record types that 1. Get their data from a database table, and 2. Have data sync enabled. If your record type uses a different data source or does not have data sync enabled, use the Write to Data Store Entity Smart Service. To learn how to use this smart service, review Appian documentation. To add the Write Records Smart Service to my process, I'll find it in the Data Services folder and add it after the script task. 
I'll rename it to Write Vehicle Record to Source. Next, let's configure the data flow. The key configurations are done in the Data tab. Note that the input section already contains the node input records. First, I need to let Appian know which record type should be updated. I'll do so by selecting the vehicle process variable in the value field. Also, I'll use the outputs tab to save the results of this write into my process variable. I'll select records updated and configure it to save data using the vehicle process variable. The primary goal of this step is to retrieve the primary key. In this example, vehicle ID that is generated when the new vehicle record is added so that it can be used in the subsequent nodes of this process. I'm almost done, but there's one final step. Because writing data to the source table requires a higher level of permission, which a regular business user won't have, I need to elevate this node security. I'll go to the Assignment tab and select the radio button, Run as whoever designed this process model. This setting ensures that the node will always execute, even if a business user gets deactivated or a process doesn't have an active initiator. For example, if it runs on a timer. Finally, remember that you can only update a single record type at a time. If you need to update several related records, update the base record first, and then update related records using additional write records smart services. This process model is now complete. I can now save and publish it, and then debug it one last time. Let's recap. Script tasks are used to perform automated activities. For example, you can use them to capture the metadata that your user won't type into a form. Typically, script tasks are configured using node outputs. The Write Record Smart Service is used to write data to the database table and sync changes in Appian. Configure this node using the Data tab. Use the Outputs tab to pass the primary key value back into the process. To ensure this node always runs, select Run as whoever designed this process model in the Assignment tab, and you can only update a single record type at a time. Mm -hmm.